Coming off a dominating performance at Iowa State, in which the Cowboys ran and passed effectively and held the Cyclones to a mere eight points, OSU was riding high on confidence as Texas Tech came to town on Saturday night. But unlike those Big 12 cellar dwellers like Baylor and Iowa State, Mike Leach's offense was a whole different animal, averaging over 38 points per game in Big 12 play. So OSU's defense would have to step up on Saturday night if they wanted to erase those memories of two weeks ago tonight when Texas's offense pasted 41 points on the scoreboard. These fans were certainly willing to forget the last home game if they, by some slim chance, had any recollection of that Halloween night to begin with. The Cowboys seemed in a bit of a fog early. They were probably still disoriented from trying to enter the field. Too much smoke. Too much smoke. Senior cornerback Parrish Cox was seeing things clearly, though. He ended Tech's first drive with the beautiful diving interception only a minute and a half in. Tech would miss a 42-yard field goal midway through the first and, helped by some costly penalties, OSU would strike first as Zach Robinson connected with Hubert Anium on the pretty 25-yard touchdown pass. OSU led 7-0 after the first quarter. Tech would kick a field goal early in the second and then drive down the field later in the quarter only to have their plans once again thwarted by Parrish Cox. It was his second interception off his second victim. First pick was off Tech starter Taylor Potts. This one was off Stephen Sheffield, all the way down at the two-yard line. The Red Raiders would get the ball back, though, facing a very short field, and score on the 12-yard pass from Sheffield to Alex Torres. Watch closely as Tech lineman Brandon Carter, the guy with all the tattoos on his skull, jumps for joy with his comrades. It's unabashed joy rarely seen amongst the big boys. Tech led 10-7 at the half. In the second half, OSU's rushing game got going. After running for only 36 yards in the first half, the Pokes started stuffing the ball down Tech's throat. In the meantime, the orange-clad boys were swallowing up humongous chunks of clock. Even though OSU only got a 26-yard Dan Bailey field goal to open up the second half, the Cowboys managed to erase over eight minutes off the clock while driving 73 yards in 19 plays. Mike Dundee's plan to control the clock and limit the touches by Tech's dangerous offense was paying off, as Zach Robinson galloped to big gains throughout. OSU held the ball over 12 minutes in the third quarter and 10 minutes in the fourth, which was when Keith Tostin fought his way inside the one-yard line and reached for the end zone. Play was ruled a fumble on the field, but replay overturned it as Tostin clearly had both knees down. He would score on the next play. OSU led 17-10, two minutes into the fourth quarter. Tostin ran for 76 yards on the day. Five minutes later, Tech was at it again, trying to drive down the field for the tie. But Sheffield didn't count on senior linebacker Patrick Levine jumping his route and returning the interception with a 21-yard score. Momentum had clearly shifted at this point as the Cowboys' defense had once again risen to the challenge. It was Levine's fourth interception of the year and second pick six. OSU led 24-10 with eight minutes left. It took only a minute for Tech to close within seven, but the Cowboys were running the clock literally. Kendall Hunter ended up with 68 yards on the ground. The Pokes gained 207 yards on the ground in the second half. A season high 99 courtesy of Zach Robinson, who also threw for 90 on 9 of 21 passing. It was this keeper, with just over a minute and a half remaining, that shook the orange to its very core. A play that effectively would have ended the game, instead ended with Robinson and Tex Jamar Wall laying stunned on the turf. Robinson fumbled, Tech recovered, but everyone was focused on the well-being of the two players involved in the violent collision. After somewhere near 10 minutes, Wall and Robinson both gingerly left the field. OSU's defense once again stepped up and stopped Tech to preserve the win as the Cowboys beat the Red Raiders 24-17. The home team has won eight straight in the series. Afterward, the head coach was obviously worried about the head on his quarterback. I just kind of looked at all the doctors, and they just kind of did like this and said, he's going to be okay, so that made me feel good. Um, they checked uh, 
you know, they went through the precautions. And one thing that comforted me somewhat, uh, Barry, is that when they get them up and walk them off, it makes me feel a lot better because uh, our medical staff obviously is, you know, top notch. And if there's any concerns, they cart you or board you, which everybody hates to see. So that made me feel good. But I'm sure that uh, – uh, I, I don't know what I'm sure of. I know that was a big time hit. Um, anytime you have, uh, you know, two running backs as me and Kendall, you know, that both can run the ball pretty effectively. I mean, in offensive line like we do, you know, it, it we're able to make uh make a lot of plays, you know, behind those guys. And I mean, Zach helped us out a lot, you know, on those third and fives and sixes. You know, he was able to take the ball down and uh, make a play, and uh, that helped us out a lot in the second half. You know, if the offense can't do this and that, you know, we're going to lose the game. We got tired of hearing that. You know, we, we know we're good defense, and that was the main focus coming in from spring. We're going to show everybody what kind of defense we are, and that's what we did tonight especially. Yeah, that was one of, uh, you know, whenever we come together as a defense, that's the first thing everybody says, you know. It's, it's quit everybody, you know, offense has always been the face of the team. You know, let's change that. Let's have the defense be the face of the team. And um, everybody, you know, has been dedicated to making that happen. And every week we've made strides, and we're going to continue to stride. And it's uh, paying off for us. You know, it's a great job by our coaches, you know, coming in with a simple game plan, not trying to do too much, not trying to pressure them, and just really relying on our fundamentals and just dropping back in zone coverage, reading the quarterback, matching up with wide receivers, and then breaking on the ball. We did a great job at that tonight and kind of took away what they want to do against us. So, I mean, our coaches did a great job putting it together, and the players, you know, they, they stepped up when they had to, and players made plays like we needed them to. I'm as proud of this team as any team I've been involved with in 19 years. Uh, just for them to be able to overcome adversity and avoid distractions and just continue to work hard. And uh, it's really what coaching's all about. So with Saturday night's big win, it would seem that OSU has the inside track to the Cotton Bowl. But all jubilation, of course, is dampered by the injury to Zach Robinson. Facing a short week and Colorado coming to town on Thursday night, the Cowboys know that one misstep against the likes of the Buffaloes could erase everything they've accomplished thus far. Reporting from Boone Pickens Stadium, David Fontenot, News OK Sports.